Welcome back to moments 45 through 41 of the Fall 50 on the Life Abridged Countdown. This moment from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX19 by Funky McFunk is an oldie, but goodie. Okay, Blair, you win this round, but I warn you, the truth will come out. You can't hide your secret forever. The jig is up. We know you're a girl. See? Jaden. What? No! You morons are not the girl she is! What? 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 Jaden likes Lexus. What? 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 You do? He does. He does? What? 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 Grilled cheese? What? As annoying as that person who finally breaks the trend of repeating typically is, uh, Chumley could have picked worse things to say than grilled cheese, a fairly innocuous non sequitur. This moment from Sailor Moon Bridge 29 by Megami33 shows that sometimes you just gotta dance. Cue lightning. Damn, I'm so cool. She's in trouble! Stop! It's hammer time. Right! Let's go, scouts! Yeah, I have to say... I have a thing against Hammer Time ever since, in a really, really, really late night conversation, I confused Hammer Space and Hammer Time, which just led to terrible, terrible physics jokes and general absurdity. So no, no Hammer Time. Not when you have to be doing superhero stuff. In this moment, from Last Exile Abridged 8 by Unwardle, we see two episodes get very, very, very abridged. Now I want a proper abridgment for episodes 13 and 14, as we agreed. Fine. Tatiana has a BSOD moment, Dunya gets introduced by failing at life, Lavi recovers from the shock inflicted by the world's worst pun and has a flashback about how she and Klaus and their immediate family all fail at life, Tatiana fails at life, Alex remembers when he used to fail at life. So naturally, you decided to make a musical about all this. Of course. Are you being sarcastic, honey? I don't even know anymore. Now, technically, if you look at those gravestones in the background, only Klaus and Lavi's immediate families actually, literally, fail at life. Everybody else just comes close. In this moment from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged episode 31 by Little Karibo, we see what the true trump card is. Check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna summon my rarest monster, the perfectly ultimate great moth. Perfectly ultimate great moth? That's one of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. Oh yeah? Well, I summoned the Swordsman of Landstar. The Swordsman of Landstar? That's one of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. <laughs> it's like something out of David Cronenberg's remake of The Fly. Except it isn't happening to Jeff Goldblum, so it's less repulsive. Jeff Goldblum? He's one of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. This is definitely another one of those moments where if you saw it coming, you're either lying or crazy. Ah, oh, fan service. Just, just fan service. Take a peek at this moment from Code Geass Abridged Episode 3 by Ezekru. Knock, knock. Who's there? Irony. <gasps> Now, now, I just came back to give you your clothes. Well, it's your fault for getting me all wet. Wait, what's going on? Oh, come on. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Not as much as you'll enjoy this in. No, oh, God! Well, it would be my first time. Have you done this before? Plenty. And I'll twist it hard just for you. Uh, then this'll really hurt. Oh, come on! Wait, 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 wait a sec. Who exactly is overhearing this, and where is he overhearing it from? Is this not a problem for anybody else? Alright everybody, so that's it for this installment. Uh, come back next time, which really ought to be quite soon, for moments 40 through 36 
on the Fall 50 with the Life Abridged Countdown. See you next time. I'd rather be nine people's favorite thing than a hundred people's ninth favorite thing. Nine people's favorite thing than a hundred people's ninth favorite thing. Those nine people will tell nine people. Then we'll have 18 people loving the show. Then 18 people could grow into 525,600 people. All loving our show.